Hi everyone, welcome to Haru Apps tutorial. Uh, I've decided to start making video tutorials of all the different programs I'm posting on my website um, that you can visit at www.haruapps.com. This is a website dedicated to freeware and open source software. Every second day I will post a new software uh, for you folks to download and there, it's, there are a bunch of pictures and, and descriptions and I try to keep it really simple so you can quickly view what exactly the program is doing. And sometimes, uh, you know, programs are a bit complicated and uh, it's a lot easier to learn from watching a video than uh, trying to click around the menus and system configurations and stuff like that. So I decided I was going to start producing some videos for you folks. Uh, I hope you enjoy this. Um, now, today's topic, uh, Folder to ISO, um, which I don't think needs uh, a whole lot of... of um, demonstration because it, it is very straightforward what it does it turns the content of a folder like the folder I've got here uh, which, which has four files into one file uh, that can uh, be stored somewhere else or so um, the little program I'm gonna show you how it works there's not a lot of uh, options actually there's almost none uh, the only thing available is the um, different ISO options here uh, which I'm not sure exactly what they do, but this one here always worked for me. Uh, and uh, the label of the ISO, uh, you can change it to whatever you want. Now you're going to pick the folder that you wish to to include all the files and select the output. I'm going to put it on the desktop, call test123, and I'm going to save it. And I'm going to generate the ISO. Once it's done, this is very quick because the files were really small, it will give you an icon like this. Uh, well, not necessarily an icon like this, but a file like this. Uh, but you need a program to be able to view it. Um, there are a lot of commercial and free tools available uh, for this. Um, I, the one I use is called Virtual Clone Drive. It's a free tool uh, that will allow you to right-click on this and mount as a drive. Um, you can get the program, by the way, um, if you go on my website and you scroll down to the different categories. Uh, you go to Mounting Utility. Now, once you click this, it will list you all the uh, different tools I've got for this category. Scroll down to Virtual Clone Drive. And uh, you have pictures uh, and uh, you have different a link to download the program. So, you right-click the file and you just say mount file see the letter here is giving me the J letter so it's gonna click and there you go it detects the new letter and it's gonna allow me to open the file and there are all the files now you can view the file uh, that's not a problem um, you just cannot edit them because it is actually the ISO file is read-only um, so if you want to edit this you have to move the file out and edit it and then recreate an ISO later on if you want. And then once you're done you can right click and just unmount the file and the, the letter actually that was in my case the letter J has, be, has just been unassigned. Uh, and you can copy this file to a USB stick or an external hard drive and you've got all your files in one file. And that's it for Folder to ISO, folks. I hope you enjoy this little demo, and there's going to be more uh, on my website. You can visit at www.haruapps.com. And uh, thank you for watching today.